Hey you, come over here. Yeah, I want to show you something. You want to learn how to remove a background in GIMP? Well, let me show you. So to effectively remove a background, this method will only really work for something with such a contrasted background. Now, as you can see on the bonnet of this vehicle, the color is very much like the background. So on the right hand side, you'll see your layers. You're going to right click here and here you want to add alpha channel. OK, so if this looks like this, that means that there is already an alpha channel on this layer. So we're going to go over now to the left hand side and we're going to have a look at some tools. The very first tool here is the fuzzy select tool. Now, if I select this and select the background that I want to remove, you'll see that parts of the car is actually being removed as well. So control V will re undo that step. What I'm going to look for is the dodge and burn tool. Now, if you're not seeing any of these tools here, you can just go up to the toolbar, look for tools and then look for the tools under paint tools and selection tools and so forth. So once this dodge and burn is selected, we're going to come down here. And if you're not seeing these options, you can just double click it and you'll get these options. And you want to make sure under type, you've got burn selected. This will allow you to take your range, which is shadows, mertones and highlights down in color and contrast. So holding in control and zooming in on the image, you want to make sure that the Parts of the image that look much like the background is going to be selected. So you're going to click down and you can just go over the image like this. And make sure that you are selecting as much as possible of the same color that your background is. Now, this will only give you one single layer here. So if you would like to give it another layer of dodge and burn, you can actually lift your mouse cursor. And if you go again and click over the same space, it will actually make it darker, as you can see here. Now, this process is a little bit time consuming, but you will get great results. Now, once you're done, you're going to go. Let's zoom out again. And here you can click on that fuzzy select tool and you're going to select your background and now it's selected everything on the outside of the vehicle which allows this background to be removed we're going to tap on delete and there you go now to restore the changes that you made previously over here you can just go back to the dodge and burn and we're going to say dodge over here on the left hand side and you're going to just go over the area that you burnt earlier now my suggestion is always to do the entire image in a burn so when you want to restore your changes that you've made your image will come out looking like the original image now if this was a helpful guide drop us a like and share it with a friend folks we'll see you next time peace out creators